extras. In this video, I'm just going to show you the tapering feature that comes with the Wit Stamp tool. It's a plugin from Astute Graphics, part of their Wit Scribe 2 for Illustrator, CC, and other versions. Okay, got an image here. Don't have to use an image, but that image is uh, see for this. You can use text and other paths as well. What it does, this turns this into lines. And I'm just going to quickly show you the make with preset option. And it's just default setting, half grid. And I'm just going to increase the spacing so you can just see the lines. It's basically just lots of lines. And you can still see the original image there as well. So make that bit, those lines a bit thicker. So you can actually see the lines. It's exactly the same as the over here, the width tool. The same sort of lines, just standard illustrator lines that you can manipulate once you've actually expanded the the plugin okay modify that a bit just make it slightly darker and lighter in certain areas right now I'm just going to go down to here use tapering it doesn't seem to do much in default mode so default mode just that changes that from a sort of obviously square ending into a pointed ending now actually change the setting that's the default setting so you can go for say maybe 200 you can actually see it becomes far more intense just when you go for 200 go for 300 you can change the angle as well sometimes that's more effective as well different angles now you actually got if you actually remove tapering you can see the difference so I'm just click there use tapering So it makes more intense sort of central like a framing sort of effect that'd be quite and you can use it with the other presets as well you don't have to use it just obviously with this half grid you can actually use it with grid yeah, I'm gonna change okay it's just doing something okay you can also use it with wave now, actually it's quite effective with the wave I think that's the wave one is probably one of the better ones so you've got, got like, if I remove the use tapering at that point you see it just goes back and it just basically does the 12 point to one point so I can maybe make that to four point 12 point to four point and again use tapering less change at that point so you can create really interesting visual effects using the tapering feature which seems just a little minor setting but it's actually very very effective and very useful part of the tool and like I say you can use it with the other ones concentric squares to create interesting visual effects again if I turn that off you can see the difference between the two and you can of course modify it you don't have to go with 300 I mean honestly once you get to put a certain point there won't be any tapering at all but uh, it's uh, you can vary the settings and you can create different effects just by modifying the length of tapering hope you found this quick tutorial of interest